Hi! Welcome back to another video. And this is our second time filming this because the first one, the files got corrupted. So I wasn't able to edit it. I posted the Alcala tour first. It was supposed to be the second one. So this time, he's going to talk about his experiences and more of the specific things about the program. So yeah, let's start. I don't have my questions, so I'm just going to try to remember them. So first, is it um, the program that he is in is Teach and Learn yes. under Instituto Franklin? Under Instituto Franklin, under Universidad de Alcalá. Okay. So, the first question is, I think in Spanish it's called Master's Propio. Yes. Something like that. So, the first question is, is it like Master's Master's? No. Because... <laughs> I mean, they, yes, but... Hindi buo. Master's Master's in terms of academics and workload and professors mm -hmm. and the experience. Pero, you, pero the the result not really because you only earn 60 ECTS European. by my by my memory European credit credit transfer system so that means you earn parang units oh units mm -hmm. parang you earn one year of master's experience or master studies usually uh, it takes hundred to uh, 90 to 120 ECTS to complete a master's degree. So you're getting units, not the degree. Pero um, as of now, ang announcement nila is they will give diplomas, but I don't know if that uh, meron daw. Tsaka, ano, mm, certificate. certificate. Pero I don't know if that will amount to a degree. Yeah. Kasi hindi naman siya full. Yeah, it's not like a full blown masters. And from what I know, um, from Facebook, if you read it, um, people, Americans who go through this program when they want to use their units or like the certificate and degrees in America when they go back they have to go through a rigorous process to certify it because mm -hmm. it's not like super established like oh you're done with this you have an MA ka na sa dulo ng pangalan mo. it's not like that and he's doing teach and learn so half and not half he's working while studying and what are you in like your program is masters in masters in teaching so monday to thursday i'm in school teaching as an la and then fridays from 3 to 3 30 3 or 3 30 until 8 to 8 30 or 8 or 8 30 um i go to the school sometimes online but mostly on site coming since in cases uh, Alcala, na, na okay so um he talked about the setup already so the first one was online and then now everything's on site so my first question is um you have to pay right there's a fee mm -hmm. do you think the experience is worth it mm, if you if you really want to study internationally yes but if you just want to be an auxiliar in spain there are cheaper ways to to get here because it's a lot. Three, three. In the, the total tuition is three thousand eight hundred, and then you need to pay it by the end of the school year. But you have your personal payment plan that you can submit. It can be by month or by quarter. Um, for me, I paid three times. One at the first at the at the beginning of the program before we start. Then at the middle, and then I paid last March last payment. Okay. All right. So, um, would you say that it's manageable to pay it? Like out of your like, if you're in Madrid, so you have like one thousand stipend or like allowance. Do you think it's manageable? Now, of course, you're gonna subtract a little bit for your tuition. It's manageable if your family does not expect you to give okay, every right. month. Yeah. Because it's still a lot. So for me, when I was paying my tuition, I subtract at least 300 to 350 every month, and then 303, uh, and then 350 for the rent. So that's already 650, yeah. and then the rest for for the um, gastos. But 
if you have a lot of private class like I did when I was paying tuition, it's it's really um, manageable because when I had a lot of private class, the total na nakukuha ko sa private class before is around 300 to 350 then so okay, that's just like an estimate because that's like a private thing yeah. all right so if you have private it can work and it depends on how you're gonna spend your money wisely um, but it is doable yes yes okay so let's talk about the time how do you usually manage your time to study and then you have to work and then you have private classes what was your um, schedule for yourself um, Monday to Wednesday, work lang. Um, private class, prefer for private class. And then Thursday, um, study. So, my schedule was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I have private class, either one or two classes. And then Thursday, hindi ako kumukuha ng private class to focus on studying. So, every Thursday, dun ako nag-aaral talaga. And then sometimes, if madaming workload, depende sa prof, um, Saturday and Sunday, nag din ako. So, it depends. Okay. And just a quick ra rundown of the pros and cons of being in um, Alcala is they're very helpful. Ah, yeah. Yung management of Institute of Franklin is very helpful sa paperwork. Hindi, ka na, hindi mo na kailangan mag, um, maglakad ng paper for TA. They will do that for you. All you need to do is compile the requirements and then go to the police station. And then, sa police station, there's a representative from Institute of Franklin na tulong din sa'yo na makipag-usap sa police station so you don't need to speak um, Spanish. Yun, sila na yung bala. And then also, um, in my case, when I was applying for visa, na yung visa ko, application. Yeah. And then, what they did was, they... Um, gave me a lawyer free of charge for the first appeal and then ayun, when when we appealed the visa decision okay naman approved naman siya after yeah and then what else okay so let's go to your experience like in school so my first question would be um, is it hard to make friends, especially like in an international setting? So from different countries, different races, different um, like the culture, it's very diverse inside the classroom. So was it hard to adjust to it? Um, or like is it like um, the proper term would be like, na culture siya ka ba? Not really. Because it, it's, it's like the same with, with college. Ganun. So, hindi lang super friends ngayong, ano, ngayong MA because once a week lang kayo nakikita ganun. And sa class, classroom namin, we have a big age gap. Kaya, yun, yung, my classmates are 25 and up and I'm only 22. So, there's an issue when it comes to when it comes to experience and hobbies, you know, interests. So, but it, I think it's nice to be exposed to that mm. kind of classroom setting, na, like literally mm. from different backgrounds. Kayo. Mm, you learn a lot from sharing nila, so experience. Ganyan. Okay. So, how were your professors? Like, are your professors good? Mostly good. Yeah. Katulad naman sa college, there will always be props na hindi mo type. Pero, um, Institute of Franklin gives you... Um, um, established. Oh, uh, established and ano, mostly award-winning professors when it comes to teaching. Lalo na ngayon, our, yung last prof namin, um, award-winning siya sa Europe. Na bigyan siya ng award. And then, nagkaroon din kami ng prof na nagtrabaho sa Ivy League schools. And, so, yeah. they're like established profs. Oh, when it comes to their, ano, to their... Credentials. Oh. Maayos naman siya. And then, um... And then, you'll also have, ano, um, different uh, nationalities approach. Meron na, we had British, we had American, and then we have Spanish, so it depends okay. then. What do you usually do in class? Do you do group works, presentation, reports, recitations? How is it like? Um, group works mostly because since, ano, 
since MA na nga siya, parang they expect you to contribute and then teamwork, ganyan. Pero may mga prof din na hindi nagpapa... May isang prof kami na hindi nagpagroup. Puro ano lang, um, discussion, parang what's, what usually happens is they will divide you into groups sa class clusters and then after mga 10 to 15 minutes of discussion within the group which sharing kayo sa buong ano buong class ganun and then meron din profs na they will have you by group for the whole for the whole month and then um you will have to do group works um outside the ano na to, outside classroom class hours so monday to Thursday, ganyan. Ginagawa kaming group works for submission sa Friday, ganyan, ganyan. And then, a lot of recitation kasi, yun nga, more focus siya um, halos sa discussions. Presentations, not so much. Usually, ano lang, final presentations, ganyan. Pero, mostly discussions, ganyan. Discussions tsaka mga group works. Okay. So, that leads to my second question. Well, no, not second question. My next question. Um, do you buy your schedule is different, mm -hmm. like per month? So every month we have one course. Or one subject. Uh, one course every month. So four four cor uh, four sessions per uh, no, per, per course and then five hours per session. So, ano na ngayon? Um, we start kami October, November, December, January, February. March. So, naka six na courses na kami. And then, meron ba kami May, June 2 na um, courses. May, June 2 courses. Okay. Okay, so next question. Maybe some of the incoming like students um, under Institute of Franklin or the Teach and Learn program, maybe they have some kind of like um, work experience in the Philippines. Um, would you say that the workload is different? Like, you're you're studying, you're teaching, and then you're having private classes. So kind of like work hours then yon compared to a nine to eight hour work in the Philippines. Um, would you? How would you compare those two? Like, are they the same in stress and workload, or mas manageable yung studying? Because uh, others might think na how am I gonna study and then work and then have private classes all at the same time. Just so they have like um, a comparison. Okay. For me, mas manageable yung ngayon because um, your work as an LA, especially sa ministry, no prep naman na siya halos eh. you, you come in and then the teacher will tell you what to do and then you do your job. And then afterwards, after class, parang after school hours sa, uh, sa public schools, parang they won't. They won't bother. Uh, they won't bother you, naman. And then after that, um, usually, meron namang two to three hour before private classes. So you use that time to pre to prepare for a private class. And then after that, pag kwe, you can study or whatever. So yeah. mas... it depends on your time management, as if I think. Oh. But if you're like thinking of time, I think I personally think you have a lot of time mm -hmm. compared to when you're in the Philippines because you have See, to commute yeah. and everything. And here it's like. Mas onti yung pinaproblema mo dito kasi parang everything's laid out naman. Yeah. And they That's really cool. have a relaxed kind of um, school environment. No, it's not, hindi siya nakaka-pressure, hindi siya nakaka- um, hindi siya, it's not that stressful. Okay, so my next question is, um, I forgot, wait. Question me. Okay. My next question is, at the end of the school year, you have a thesis, right? Yep. Is it a full-blown or a baby thesis? Baby, baby, parang baby thesis lang naman siya. There are um, parts na, may mga parts na you would expect na nandun, pero extra parts, not really. So, you have two choices, either research or curriculum design. So, sa thesis, is normal na uh, research paper, sorry, research paper, normal na research paper. And then, sa curriculum design, um, you decide ng curriculum, either either in the Philippines or in the country of your choice, and then, or in Spain. So, ako, I chose research because I have experience in research, pero sa curriculum design, I don't have experience. But, they will teach you naman sa curriculum design, and then we have 
we have we also have a course na curriculum design so matutunan mo naman siya but that's just for masters in teaching because there are other um like programs ba mm. that you can choose I no think. i there's think, a, think another, there's another one I, if you can speak in spanish you have you have another choice you chose masters in teaching because they're all ano not in english hindi ano lang yan um sa course yan pero yung final no 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 what i'm talking about is your experience is specific to the program uh, okay. that you chose because there are other programs i think parent pack international education study something like that but his just keep in mind that master in teaching yung kanya but you're too bright because <laughs> we're by the window okay and my next question is do you think you what you learn there is useful can you apply it mm. like to work mm -hmm. reflect naman yung natutunan mo sa um sa work mo as an LA so lahat na, halos lahat naman siya ma-apply mo ano um classroom management teaching methods mm -hmm. theories of learning mga ganyan okay, so it's apply really naman siya. Naman. Yep. yeah and then um also his setting is he lives in the center here well actually in the super center uh, outskirt of the center a little bit but he's here because the school niya is in the center of madrid but there's also a choice where you can live in alcala de henares if your school is also there as he said they try to consider your choice if you want to be in Alcala or uh, not. When you apply, they will give you a choice um, sa placement. So you can choose Madrid Center or Madrid Alcala. So if you choose Madrid Alcala, they will look for a school there. in Alcala. Okay. So you ano na lang yun, walking distance na lang sa, I, sa, sa university. Um, we don't really have a background of how much is it to live in Alcala and stuff because he doesn't live there. Pero um, sabi I think it's mga, cheaper. Sabi ng mga classmates ko na nakatira sa Alcala, cheaper naman. They're talaga. cheaper because uh, malayo na siya sa Madrid. Um, so he's in the centro a little bit, but he's also kind of near Alcala because we have um, like a train here near our place that he goes to every time he goes to school. So that's like an hour ride. Hindi mm, naman. Less than? Um, yung mismong train is 25 minutes and then pagdating mo kasi sa Alcala, you have to walk. Yeah. I merong think... merong mga bus but if you miss the bus, 20 minutes na yung susunod so naglalakad na lang ako. Yeah. And then the walk is around 15 to 20 minutes then. Okay, so if you, you watch the um, watch the previous vlogs, um, Alcala, he showed us the place so you just have um, like a you know, you know what it looks like, and that's your future uni. And then, um, what else? Um, so overall experience is good. It's it's the same as college, would you say? It's the same when it comes to uh, classroom setting, ganyan, pero yung workload and in level of discussion, siyempre, mas, mas, mas higher. Because like, it's a master's. Mm -hmm. And then, okay. ka, parang kailangan lagi may bala ka pag, uh, ano, pag recitations, ganyan. Yeah, I think you have... Gonna know, like you have to be, uh, no, you prepared. Know. Oh, yeah. and din sila, big din sila sa participation. Yeah. Okay, but is it intimidating to answer? Or like, at is first, it nerve wracking? At first, yeah, because your yung mga classmates ko have a lot of work experience, so in discussions, pa tama silang naambag mm -hmm. and then ako hindi, wala naman akong teach, wala naman akong background sa teaching ganyan. so medyo nakakabas siya. At first. So, at first. Pero, pag nasanay ka naman na, kaya, kaya naman siya. Okay. Um, hindi naman mahirap yung pinag-aaralan nyo. Like, oh my gosh, ang hirap nito. Hindi naman ganun. Uh, so far, hindi naman. Kasi, na, parang ano naman siya. Um, mag, ma -ex na explain naman ng mga profs ng mabuti. So, madali yeah, naman siya maintindihan. Yung mga prof mo eh. Madali Madali naman siya na Okay, so and from what I've seen from him, I think he can manage his time well. Yeah, he just he has like one or two private classes. Okay, so right now, um, his schedule is nine to two, just the same with mine. I think because it's the pandemic. Um, then he has like one or two hours pa after that, and then after that, study, study, study. Right? Huh? Yeah. Oh, but. Oh. Mm, pag private. Sometimes it's private. Though. 
Monday and Yun 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 Oh, what's something na like you expected this? Lahat mo na expectations mo before coming to the master's study na na fulfill naman. Um, I would say na I expected na mas mahirap yung master's program. Pero it wasn't. Oh, akala ko parang super hirap na ano na mahirap itindihan yung mga bagay-bagay ganyan kasi syempre expectation mo as a undergrad. Mahirap siya. Oh, kala mo mahirap. Pero pag nandun ka na, hindi naman. Madali naman siya. Basta, just manage your time well and exert effort sa, ano, yes. sa studies. Ganyan. But I think... A ang mahirap lang is yung workload. Medyo madami siya. Pag may time, so... Yeah, Depende sa prof. Mm -hmm. diba? I remember him before. Parang every week, may babasahin siya. May group work siya. So, those mga times na ina-adjust namin yung labas-labas namin. Ganyan. Very, very, I would say, very manageable from what I see from you. Yeah, so you're enjoying your master's. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Are you willing to answer questions if they have other questions? Shoot. Okay. You can just comment it down below because I don't really have any more questions for him. And so we can keep this a little bit shorter. Yeah. And that's... Din sa comment. Yeah, he's, 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 if you have any more questions, random or whatever you just comment it down and he's gonna answer it for you but overall out of 10 mm, eight what eight mm. but also if you think because even if it's not a full-blown masters you're like halfway there oh. right you just have to complete it a little bit for it to be a degree like a degree degree but like you're halfway there and then um, it's a big bonus that you're studying masters like outside of the Philippines, and if ever you decide to come back to the Philippines, diba parang it's a big deal for companies and schools and whatever na nakapag-aral ka sa labas. So I think that's a plus as well. And then, um, yung sa ECTS, I think when we searched before, parang UP and Ateneo or La Salva yun. Yung parang they're, they're Ateneo ata. They're setting up their conversion of ECTS. Right? So if you decide to come here and then go back home, um, you can try to finish it maybe there. You just do your research. Um, can you take another course, another mm -hmm. year? Like na mag aral talaga? With Instituto. Like now, what if you decide to continue it to complete the uh, 120? Uh, I think there are may, may other programs that you can go. Ah, okay. Alright, but anyway, since Institute of Franklin is very hands-on, you won't really have a problem with a lot of things because they're very hands-on and accommodating from his experience. So it's just, it's like school. I think it's gonna be fun. We actually want to go there then, but of course, you enroll, um, what do you Enrollment. Oh, uh, the fee. Of course, you have to save up for it. Kenyan. And yeah, just plan your payment plan well, I would say. So you know when. Hanggang kailang kama. Your last payment was April, and then you were done. No? Uh, April. Yeah, April, April and then you're March. done. Okay, so if you have any more questions, just um, write it down below. And we're gonna make more videos about language assistance experiences maybe in the next few weeks. Yeah, because since we're not so busy and the school is almost ending, thanks for watching all my videos. So, see you all soon. Bye. Thank Bye. you.